Visitors are everywhere. Adam Hewison here with your video update for Thursday, the 7th of March. Well, we've got the Fed pouring $4.25 billion into the system every trading day, so it's no wonder stocks are going higher. We'll be looking at, at the major markets, also looking at three stocks that just joined the bull parade to yesterday and how they're performing today. So let's get started right away. Let's start with our portfolios. And as you can see, I'll just move this, close this up a little bit. And the great thing about Market Club, you have lots of portfolios. Here they all are. Right down here, you can set these up yourself. And uh, we can also help you with that as well. So here we are. We've got uh, S&P. Let's just refresh this page. And you'll see that the S&P, all, all the indices are very, very strong on the upside. All have green triangles on the S&P 500, the NASDAQ, and the Dow. So we've been looking for the market to go to the 1550. You can see you got very close, 1550, 1560 area. So we're getting closer on that. And we're looking for the Dow to go to the 14.6 area. So we're only like 270 points away from there, which is not that much given the way this market's moving. So let's take a look at the S&P 500, uh, which is the broader indices. As you can see, we had a big day uh, on couple of days ago, three days ago, and uh, that's on Tuesday. And you can see the market just completed, just continues to go higher. We're very, very overbought, which is the one concern. We're definitely at the top of the Donchian trade channel, but everything seems to be a go. And as I said, with $4.25 billion coming in every single day into the system, stocks are going to have a hard time going down, in my opinion. So let's go to the next market. And that's going to be the Dow. Dow has been really the leader here. You can see we picked this up, uh, our monthly triangle picked this up on the 22nd of this January. And it's been bullish ever since. Uh, we think this market can go actually still higher. Uh, and we expect that we'll see a move to the 14.6 area. That's our target zone. Again, very overbought, but there's nothing to say it can't go higher. Looking at the NASDAQ, which has been a really controlled largely through Apple, um, Apple is up a little bit today. It was down earlier, but it's coming back up. But all of the trade triangles, you can see them right here, are all green, indicating that the major trend is up. So that's we'll have, we don't have any targets for that market right now, but I would assume that we're going to see probably the uh, 3,400, possibly, possibly even higher. So let's go to our next market. A lot to go through today. I want to spend some time on some of the picks we have and what the target zones are for that. This is crude oil. Uh, made a turnaround a little bit today. Uh, you know we've been short. Uh, major trend has been, or intermediate term trend has been short from the 20th of February uh, from 95.50. We just made a turn today. You can see I put the, the daily triangle in. Actually came in yesterday. Uh, but again, so the price is 90.99. So uh, that's worked out to be well, but it looks as though we're, we're still bullish on oil longer term. This has never turned down. The long term indicator for oil has never turned down, but we are very oversold. It looks like we're trying to make that turn. We talked about this yesterday. We're trying to make that turn to go higher. So let's go on to our next market. Gold has been really a uh, little bit of a kick in today, only on the daily, uh, which means that the, the downward momentum trend has probably stop for the moment. Two things you want to look at here, I think. One is you've got, you know, the market has really kind of uh, stabilized a little bit around this level here, the 1560 area. So 1560, so that's a stabilization area. And you've got this 1620 area on the upside. So I think the market could conform into those markets, that these parameters. But here's the thing I'd look at. This is like the possibly a, a pivot point. If we go over 1620, then I think we could easily, easily see this market go to 1680, which is right here, which is the top of the, the channel. Uh, but we have to do a lot more work to get there before that. Also, remember, we've got our monthly and our weekly trade triangles are pointing down. They have to turn up. They have to, something has to happen there. It hasn't done that yet. So watch that very carefully. We've also come from a very oversold condition. Not so quite oversold now, but it looks like it's trying to make a turn. Hasn't made it yet. Not a lot of enthusiasm to buy gold. A lot of liquidation, some from the big hedge funds. I think Paulson, uh, who own, is the biggest owner of the ETF, GLD, was down 18% last month. Uh, and I think that's going to be a, you know, that, that we have to work through that. But I think generally speaking, this is going to be an asset we want to hold somewhere along the line here. So let's clear the screen off and go to our next market, and that's going to be
the Euro. The Euro Mario Draghi was speaking today. Yes, we got a little signal to get out of the Euro on the short end. Uh, you can see a longer term, we still are bullish. Intermediate term, you should be you should be neutral if you're an intermediate term trader in this market, and you should be out of the market right now. So we're trying to get a handle on this. You can see that we've been very oversold right here on the lower end, and it looks as though we've sort of maybe come to the end of that conclusion. Remember, we talked about the 130 level being a pretty important level to uh, as support psychologically the 130 handle. We got below it a couple of times, but really never closed more than one day, which was yesterday. We closed at 129.90, uh, which is barely under the handle, and we bounced back today. So I think we'll see a little bit more of a recovery in this market for the time being. So moving along to our first stock today is GAP, GAP. And here's the signal yesterday. We kicked in at 34.69. It's 35.78 today, so a nice move. And again, uh, sort of a classic type pattern here. You've got the, the, remember we talked about these energy fields in the market. So here's an energy field right here. And that's the breakout right there. So we've broken out to the upside and it would measure from the lows here, 30 up to the highs, 33.50, so three and a half bucks. So I think you'd be looking at maybe 37, 37.50, which dovetails very nicely with this resistance level back in the October period. So I think that's where we're looking for in that. So it's about a 10% move from here. Not too bad, not too shabby. Now the next market we're going to be looking, let me clear the screen off. The next market we're going to be looking at is going to be another signal that we had yesterday. And all these signals you'll see as a member of uh, Market Club because they happen live and they appear right in your portfolio if you have them in your portfolio. Also you have them in your trade triangle. So here's another one. Uh, this is a stock called Vertex. The symbol is VRTX, VRTX, Vertex. And we have a plus 100. The last signal was to yesterday at 48.70. It's 49.75. Uh, looking very, very good. And again, you have this sort of energy field that just which has been built in here. And you can see this is kind of like the energy field we're talking about right here and the move yes we've broken out obviously somehow the the trade triangle seemed to know when you've seen a breakout it's very very powerful a little bit overbought but we could say from the lows here 40 let's say let's say we call it 39 and a half 39.5 to the breakout let's say the high was 48 so we'll call that eight and a half dollars 8.5 to 48 so that gives you 56 50 somewhere around here uh, which ties in very nicely with this resistance level back here in the October period again. So I think we'll, that's initially where we want to see these markets go, but it looks very, very good to us. We'd want to be long this market based on our trade triangle technology, which is plus 100. Anyway, let's move on to our next market. And the next market we're going to be looking at is Paychex. P-A-Y-X is the symbol there. And this market looks like it wants to go higher. Nice close today. If we close over here, I really am going to like this stock a lot. And here's the reason why. You've This is the previous highs right here. And that came in at 34.06. We're coming to trade at 34.14. We close over here. We've actually, we were completed a pretty important low in this market. So again, if we look at this just purely from a technical standpoint, the trade triangles obviously are technical and it's algorithm that works very, very well. But you could say, okay, this is a big, big, big base. If we go all the way back to October. Now remember the other ones, there were the highs in October. This is a little bit different, this pattern. But you can just draw a line across the top here. I'm just doing this freehand, but you can get the idea. If we close up towards these levels, 34.15, 34.14, uh, I'd definitely want to be long because you can measure from the lows here. I'm going to call this 31. I'm just going to round it up. I'm going to go down to 29. Just go 31. And the highs we had here was 34 on the upside, 34. So I'll just take that there and we'll just subtract one from the other. That takes us down $3 difference. You add that to this number here, 34, it gives you 37. So we were looking for 37 on the upside as a target zone, which is about a 10% move from where we are right now. But let's just clear the screen off and let's t take a look at the last time we got to 37. So let's do that right now. So scope this out. 
Well, you know what? This uh, would be an all-time high for the stock, which I think would be definitely something you... Oh, no, wait. I speak too early. So we've been this, we've been this area. This is obviously in July of 07 when we were off to the races. And let me take some of these, all these indicators off and just go to a very simple chart and just take this into a line chart. So you can see we were back here. This is the height of the uh, euphoria for a lot of these markets. Came right back down from a 46. So for us to go to 37 is not out of the question. In fact, if we get there, it's probably going to print 38 uh, on the tape. So very, very positive formation. Looks like it wants to go higher. And I think that's something you should be really considering if we close by these levels today. 34, 14 is the last price on the tape. So let's take a look at what's going on in Dell. <laughs> Crazy market, but let's Dell's the last market we're looking at. Uh, it's 1425. It's down a little bit today, but all of our trade triangles are green. And that means the trend is up. And what we were saying earlier was the fact that it seems like uh, Carl Icahn is either tracking us or we're tracking him, one or the two, because we were, we've were been bullish on Dell. Uh, let me just put the monthlies on here. You can see where we got out here, 15.92 in 10.84. And now we've, we've got a nice 40% uh, 35% return on capital. We still think this market can go higher. Uh, the icon thinks, it's, Carl Icon thinks it seemed to go to 23, uh, which would be a nice move. It certainly could be there. But generally speaking, the trend is your friend, and the trend right now in Dell is higher. So I'm Adam Hewison for Market Club. Hey, thanks for stopping by. Every success. Watch those trade triangles. They work, and they keep you on the right track. I'll be back tomorrow at the same time.